ಆರ್ಯ ಗುರುವೇ ಎನ್ನ ಗಂಡ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣಮೇ ಜ್ಯೋತಿಮಯ ಮಾಗಿ ನಿಂದ್ರ ತೂಯ ಮಣಿ ಸದ್ಗುರುವೇ what we are seeing increasingly is the world being divided on the basis of ethnicity of race of religion of color of belief of sexual orientation <coughs> disabilities some of this is conscious some of this is not conscious we see large number of people on the move now refugees and migrants who have had to leave their homes and are living in camps for many months or years together so when we talk about diversity very often you know organizationally we think only about gender diversity ethnic diversity but don't you think that the real diversity the world must tackle is the fragmentation of knowledge to solve the problems that we have today and the fragmentation of ethical belief systems to guide our moral choices we see inequalities and inequities increasing you mentioned that we live in a world today where for the first time there is enough for everybody and yet there are large numbers of people who don't have the basic very basic needs if inclusiveness is the very basis of spirituality how can we enable communities i especially our young people to grow up with the belief and in, of inclusiveness and the fact that diversity is important and we have to respect everybody in the community and provide everybody equal opportunities is does can yoga show us the way <clears throat> we are inclusive uh, not by choice we are inclusive by the nature of our existence every day we are uh, in this process every moment of our life by eating drinking breathing and many other things we are showing that we are inclusive if we resist this we will cease to exist it's only by constant transaction with just about anything and everything that we are existing here the complexity of what makes this creation we are a consequence of that but the magnanimity of creation has given us an individual experience this is a tremendous thing though we are just a speck in the universe still we have an individual experience we sit here and experience like we are individuals this is a phenomenal magnanimity from creation but we have taken this individual experience rather too seriously so seriously that we think we are a world by ourselves each person when uh, your personal universe does not uh, work very well you will gather 10 people and then there is a battle <laughs> endlessly it's going on when we are two people we will quarrel when we are 10 people we will fight when we are million people we have a war it's the same thing the mechanics is the same thing because we have taken our individual experience of life rather too seriously in this cosmic space this uh, solar system itself is a speck a tiny speck in that tiny speck planet earth is a micro speck in that micro speck geneva is a super micro speck in that you are a big man <laughs> fortunately fortunately ladies don't like to be referred to as big so it's only one part of the population <laughs> a man wants to be a big man <laughs> so this whole thing has happened to us simply because the boundaries of your individuality you have taken it too seriously if you pay on the surface you are you i'm me 100% this is my body that's your body no way to mix this up this is my mind that's your mind here and there our minds may overlap but anyway this is my mind that's your mind but there is no such thing as my life and your life the life that we are 
this is a living cosmos. You captured some, I captured some. Now, what yoga means is, the boundaries that we have drawn with the instrument of body and mind, you consciously obliterate, so that when you sit here, your experience of life is not contained just to the limitations of your body or your thinking process or your emotional process. Your ability to experience life as a life, not as a body, because if you experience this life as a body, this is me, that is you, there is no way to mix this. If you go as a mind or a thought process, this is me, that is you, no way to mix it up. But if you go as a life, fundamental life process, there is no distinction between this and that, not just between two human beings, between everything and everything, there is no distinction. So the word yoga means union, that you consciously obliterated the boundaries of your individuality. That is why you know a sense of union. We are anyway in union with the existence. The problem is it's not in our experience because we are too caught up with our individual experience. The basis of your individual experience is a very flimsy thing, in the sense, right now, if you... Can we experiment with you? Hello? Take your right hand and touch your right hand, uh, left hand and see. Is that you? Hello? Is that you? Touch the chair on which you're sitting, is that you? No. How do you know this? How do you know this is me? This is not me. Sensation, isn't it? Here there is sensation, here there is no sensation. So the way you are identifying what is me and what is not me is just that where there is your sensation, it's me. Where there is no sensation, it's not you. Right now there's a glass of water here, is that you? No. If you drink it, does it become you? What is it that you did? All you did was you included this into the boundaries of your sensation. Isn't that the way you have grown? Hello? Isn't that the way you have grown? What was not you yesterday, has it become you today? So anything that is within the boundaries of your sensation is experienced as myself. What yoga means is you stretch the boundaries of your sensations. As there is a physical body, there is a sensory body. If your sensory body expands, let us say your sensory body became as large as this hall, then you will experience all these people as a part of yourself. As you experience the five fingers as yourself, you will experience all these people as yourself. Even for a moment, if you experience all these people as a part of yourself, after that, do I have to teach you morals, ethics, be good to this person, don't kill this person, don't harm this person, would you need teachings? I'm asking you. This is what yoga means. It is not a teaching, it is not a philosophy, it is not an ideology, it is a technology of obliterating the boundaries of your individuality because your individual nature is your psychological pattern that you have created. Nothing else says you're individual. If you don't understand what I'm saying, keep your mouth closed, hold your nose for two minutes, you will know you're not an individual. Yeva mridam yinda chinnaya maam sadguruve